Hello again, Izzy at Digital Goja Showrooms. Well, I looked at some of the customer service questions, some Amazon questions, some eBay questions, and some YouTube forum questions on how do I cut, reduce, or get rid of my recycle time on my flash altogether. You can't get rid of it, but we're going to show you how to cut it down. If this video helps you out, remember to hit us up with a like button underneath and subscribe to our channel for future unboxing sessions and tutorials such as this and to share with fellow photographers. And don't forget, when in Miami, visit Digital Koja Showrooms. All right, so what you first have to do is, remember, to be able to get your flash to recycle faster, you have to switch it to manual and physically cut down the power output. That's the way you're going to get the flash to recycle faster. You can't just eliminate a recycle time. So here I'm going to turn on, this one is a 430EX3RT from Canon. And we're going to go into the menu and we're going to switch it to manual. You don't want it on TTL. And go into your power ratio and cut it down. And by cutting it down, it'll be one dash and a larger number. So let's say, for example, one dash 32 will cut it down to 132 power. So now I can go ahead and notice how when I fire the flash, it recycles considerably faster. So I can cut down my recycle time and shoot much more rapidly. This is how we cut down the recycle time on the Altura Photo Pro Series Universal Flash. What you have to do is, since this is a manual flash, you're already ahead of the game because you do have to set it to manual. But notice the little power input here. Notice how the more power, the slower the recycle time. So you can cut it all the way down if you choose to, to 132 or 164 power. And now when I fire off the strobe, notice how it recycles considerably faster. So it cuts down my recycling time and allows me to shoot that much faster. Now I'm going to show you how to cut down the recycle time on your Altura Photo Professional Series APC 958X Speedlight Flash for Canon. Again, we have to turn on the unit and you have to make sure that your flash is set to manual. You don't want to use it on TTL. So once you have it set to manual and you switch the power ratio, here I have it, for example, cut down to 1 1 28th. You can choose whatever power output you want, but it can't be one to one because that slows down your recycle time. So now I can go ahead and at 164 power, notice how this recycles considerably faster than if I was working on TTL. Now I'm going to show you how to cut down the power ratio on the Altura Photo Pro Series digital SLR TTL flash for Canon. So first we turn on the unit and you want to switch the mode off of TTL. So now when we go into our manual mode, you can cut the power ratio. I mean, you can do anything below one to one ratio. Here I have it set to one one twenty eighth. So notice how when I fire off now, it recycles considerably faster than if I was shooting on TTL. So it's going to cut down the power output of your flash, but it's going to also cut down your recycle time. 